Now, in the Q2 of 2022, Neo, ladies and gents, reported total revenues of $1.54 billion. And this came out of, or majority of this revenue came out of their 25,000 uh, or over 25,000 uh, vehicles which they reported for their Q2, which is something that is incredible and obviously made the new investor to be really excited seeing those earnings though to some others obviously they wanted more uh, but obviously to some others they of course were excited about the kind of results that neo produced for their q2 earnings now one of the things that really made people to be really excited during the q2 earnings was of course the guidance that neo came out and announced which ladies and gents it was the guidance of saying that neo will deliver vehicles of roughly between 30 30,000 and 32,000 if i'm not mistaken when which we got to see exactly neo producing that on their q3 earnings so that in itself made a lot of people to be really excited those that are investing on to the neo stock so neo for the q3 we saw them obviously reporting uh, deliveries or total deliveries of 31,600 or over 31,600 which is something that neo had never done or produced which is something that obviously made excite or brought excitement to those that are investing onto the new stock because this show growth or that showed growth which is something that obviously made investors to really continue to remain bullish long and strong onto this neo stock now ladies and gents this coming week or this week neo will be giving us their q3 Earnings. These are the earnings where, like I said, Neo reported total uh, deliveries of over 31,600. But before we dig deep into these uh, videos or uh, as to what analysts are predicting or what are analyst sentiments before uh, those Q3 earnings and also what my prediction is, uh, you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video. I really appreciate it. You can just hit that like button if you do enjoy the content or yeah, enjoying the content that I'm giving you about the Neo stock. Neo is a company that we discuss a lot on this channel because this is the company that I'm not even ashamed to say that it seriously dominates my stock market portfolio because I believe in its fundamentals and its future prospects. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment and subscribe. And once you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So the 31,607 vehicles which Neo produced in terms of delivery in the Q3 of 2022, it was a 29% increase year over year, which is something that must just show you that, like I'm saying, Neo continues to show growth on their deliveries, which is something that really excites the consumer, something that really excites the investors who are investing onto this Neo stock. So yes, Neo the, on this coming uh, Thursday, uh, Neo will be giving us their Q3 earnings. And I must say that one of the things, uh, that are one of the most important things on those earnings, ladies and gents, that I can tell you right now is the guidance. A lot of the new investors, including myself, really want to see the guidance that Neo will give us during those earnings as to what kind or the kind of deliveries that they expect to deliver on the Q4 earnings. And that is the one thing that will really, really move the markets if the numbers come out to be good. So I personally believe that one of the most important thing that you should track uh, besides the earnings per share, besides the total revenues they generated uh, on the Q3 is the guidance. Guidance are very important because it tells us what Neo expect to deliver in the upcoming Q4 of 2022 so yes of course you do have the revenues which are also important but personally like i'm saying not as important as the guidance you get to see the of course the earnings per share which ladies and gents we are seeing or we've seen that analysts are predicting or expecting neo to report an eps of a negative 0.24 chinese yen a silver screen with a total revenues of over 
12 billion yen or Chinese yen which is something that obviously will be monitoring also this because of course we would like to see or those that invest into new we would like to see new of course thrashing this analyst expectation on the EPS and the total revenues so which analysts are expecting so I personally believe that NEO ladies and gents is, is still the same here especially with the revenues I personally believe that because of the record-breaking delivery numbers of over 31,000 vehicles which NEO delivered for the Q3 of 2022 we are going to see NEO obviously uh, maybe thrashing analyst expectations because uh, these expectations if you are to convert actually into um us dollars it it is about 1.7 billion dollars uh, which obviously i personally believe that neo can maybe d report around 1.8 billion dollars which it would be a record-breaking uh, revenues or in terms of uh, the revenues that neo has reported uh, ever since its existence because you will know that neo uh, in terms of uh, their revenues they have uh, never reported reported revenues of over 1.6 billion they've always been reporting or the most which the, the most revenues they've reported i think they were just below 1.6 billion dollars now i personally believe that we are obviously because of those deliveries we are going to see um record breaking revenues which is why analysts are also easily predicting that we could see new of course uh, reporting 1.7 billion of revenues in the q3 so i personally believe that we can even get to see neo reporting 1.8 billion dollars which obviously that might easily thrash analyst expectations i mean same goes with the eps i personally believe that neo's eps is going to continue to become better and better as they deliver more and more revenues yes i know that that the gross margins are still low or on this new stock but analysts expect that gross margins uh, will start uh, recovering on this new stock which is something that is incredible and something that obviously must motivate you to remain bullish long and strong onto this new stock so on this upcoming q3 earnings one of the things that or the most important thing that i'll be looking at it is the guidance of their q4 uh, deliveries because i want to see the kind of deliveries that neo will produce in the upcoming uh, q4 or in this uh, q4 that we are in right now I want, I want to see the kind of deliveries that neo can produce in november and december as you know that in the q4 or, or the, for the month or for the first month of the q4 which is october neo just delivered 10,059 cars which obviously that or whatever the guidance we get to see will give us roughly as to what neo will produce or the kind of deliveries that neo will produce for the month of november and december so i am really hopeful and patiently waiting to see those uh, deliveries but as for the stock uh, or share price of neo i personally believe that uh, we are going to see it continuing to recover going to those earnings because it looks like a lot of people are really optimistic about the upcoming q3 earnings of neo which are said to come out on this day otherwise with all that guys i just I just gave you this quick update as to what analysts are expecting and what are my predictions on the upcoming q3 earnings of neo so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise i remain put to be bullish long and strong onto this new stock because neo it is a company that not only is it doing well in china in terms of deliveries or selling their cars but it is also uh, doing well outside of china i mean right now in norway which was the first destination when neo started selling their cars uh, I think as of yesterday they had delivered already 15 cars which is something that must just show you that in the first four days Neo has managed to obviously deliver uh, an average of around three cars per day which is something that is incredible and something that obviously will make Neo once again to report record-breaking deliveries in no way so this should just definitely show you that not only is neo doing well in china but it will do well also outside of china including the other 
for more new European countries which they just started leasing their cars and they are going to by the way before this month and start selling their cars or doing direct sales which is something that obviously is going to of course not make the people in Europe to be really excited especially those that wanted to buy this new stuff but it is also going to increase the revenues which NEO of course generates from selling their cars otherwise with all that guys that's all from me and before you load the boat onto this new stock please do make sure that you do your own DD so that at least you can be comfortable when you are investing onto this new stock otherwise that's all from me and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and God bless you all